Hello and welcome back techies. I am Sambhav here. This is the fourth part of the matrix in R analytics and till now we have discussed about what is matrix, how to create them, how to add names to the dimensions and perform some basic matrix calculations and also how to access the values of the matrix. So in this session we are going to talk about apply functions, what is R bind, C bind, round functions and then we will do some examples to have a better understanding of it. So if you have not seen my previous video please don't forget to check them out and also please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates on my new upcoming videos. So let's get started. So now let's start this session with these two questions. Find the average score in each subject and find the average score for each student. I'm talking in context with the student function. I hope, uh, sorry, student matrix. I hope you remember that we have uh, created a student matrix in the last video. So if you have not done that, please go ahead and check it out. So this is my student matrix. Now I have, I'm starting this video with two questions. Find the average score in each subject and average score for each student. That means I will have to find the average of first row second row, third row and the fourth row. Similarly, I'll also have to find the average of first column, second column, third column and fourth column to find the average of each student, average marks for each student. Now, whatever method we have studied earlier, we can solve this question using those method. But it will become really, really very tedious because I will have to find the average for each of the subject that means physics separately so I'll have to extract the values for the first row then the values for the second row third row fourth row and so on and so forth so it will become really really very difficult for me to actually solve this question using the previous methods I'm not saying that it cannot be done it can be done but it will take a long time now in order to solve this problem we will use an apply function apply function is a very simple function but a very powerful one apply function is mainly used to apply a similar function or a same function on all the rows or all the columns of the matrix. So when we are saying it is used to apply, let's say for example average. So we are going to apply the average function on each of the row that is for physics, chemistry, maths, biology or for each of the column which is Ram, Shyam, Ramesh and Suresh. That is what apply function do. Now if you look at the syntax of the apply function you will notice that it has got four arguments. Argument 1, 2, 3 and argument 4. This is a simple syntax. Now what argument 1 does is in argument 1 you will have to specify the matrix name. That means you are going to apply function for which particular matrix. So in our case, in this example, you see we are going to apply it for the student. So argument 1 is nothing but the matrix name and for this example it will be student. The second one is the argument 2. That means the function which you are going to apply has to be applied either on row or either on column. See, it is going to apply same or similar function on all the rows and all the columns. So you will have to give instruction to R that here listen I am going to apply this particular function on each of the row or by column. Now the specification of the row and column can be can be done by using the numbers 1 and 2. If you are specifying 1 it indicates row and if you are specifying 2 it indicates column. In fact it will be more clear when we will start doing practicals. Then the third, that means the function. Let's say for example, you have to find the total, the sum in each subject or the sum of marks for each of the students. So that is a function. Let's say average, mean. You will have to use the function name, which is argument 3. Argument 4 is mainly used to handle the missing value. I hope you remember the previous video also. And previous to that video also, we have discussed na.rm. So it is mainly used to remove the missing values. That is about the apply function. So these are the few questions which we are going to solve here. I have actually copied these questions here to save some time. Now let us see how we can do it. The question says find the total score in each subject. So let's say total underscore of subject. Now I am not going to extract the value for each of the row from the matrix. I am directly going to use the apply function. Apply and then 
I have the first argument. I hope you remember the syntax. Argument 1, 2, 3 and 4. The first argument is a matrix name. So the matrix name is student. Second is we have to decide whether the function has to be applied on row or column. So it says each of the subject. That means for physics, chemistry, maths, biology. That means for the row. And row is indicated by the numeric value 1. And then the function name. So I will give sum. Then the fourth argument is to handle the missing value. So na dot rm is equal to true. Now if I execute this, I will be getting the result. Let me select this part. So you see for physics, the sum is 148. That means 50 plus 45 plus 23 plus 30 is nothing but your 148. Similarly for chemistry, 60 plus 35 plus 29 plus 35 is your 159. So that is how the apply function works. Let's try solving the second question. Find the total score of each student in every subject. That means what is the total score by total score of Ram for all the subjects, total score for Sham. So total, total of student, right? And then I will use apply. Now guys, please understand uh, in the previous videos, we have discussed about accessing each of the row and then applying the function sum function mean function that would have been really painful to solve this particular problem but it can be easily solved by using the apply function so again the first argument is nothing but your matrix name now this time i have to apply it for every column the sum of every column so i'll give two and then the function is still the same and na dot rm is equal to two so if i execute this i will be getting the result so that is executed and see round total is 50 plus 60 110 110 plus 70 180 plus 80 is 260 so you got 260 similarly for Shyam, Ramesh, Shuresh right the third question is find the average score in each subject average of subject so what we'll do apply now again the matrix name stu dnt student comma for each subject that means again row wise so one comma now I have to find average so I'll use the function mean comma na dot rm is equal to two. now let's get the result and see the average of physics is 37.000 chemistry is 37 39.75 maths is 60.0 and biology is 56.66 now find the average score for each student average for the student let's apply and student sorry student comma two now because this time i have to apply the mean function on every column because for every student that's what the question is and then i'll use the mean function and na dot rm is equal to two. now let's execute this and average underscore student so you will get what is the average for each of the student. Now let's go to and solve the first question. Store the result of third and fourth question in two different vectors, which is average score student and average score subject. Oh, well then uh, it is a pretty easy job. So what we have to do here is I have to store the result of third. That means average of uh, student, average score of student. This is the average score of student. So I will give average of student my work is done and average score subject right average score average of subject right average of subject this is also done so let me check the result yes average of student is Ram Shyam Ramesh Suresh and average of uh, this is your subject I'm sorry and average of subject is this value right which is physics chemistry mass value this question was just to you know store the result what we have got in a different object average score student average score subject the reason why I have given this question is because we are going to use this two uh, objects in a different example so I hope it is clear very pretty very pretty easy easy uh, you know a uh, way to apply the uh, apply functions very easy to understand now <coughs> Next thing we're going to talk about is R bind. R bind actually stands for row bind. The function row bind is mainly used to 
join or combine two data frames or data sets vertically vertically means one above the other so let's say for example we have a matrix this is in blue color and which has to be combined with another matrix 10 20 30 so r bind means row bind so this will be attached to it and r bind will give me this result initially there was two rows now since we have uh, added a new row so it will become three row now when you are combining two matrix using r bind you must be very careful what is that you will have to be careful about both the both the matrix or the data frames must have the same variables may not be in the same order right that means they must have the same variables syntax of r bind is pretty easy r bind and the data frame a data frame b assume here the data frame is nothing but the matrix so first matrix and the second matrix so you will have to use these two matrix name uh, with the r bind function to get the result right you must also remember now see here i have told you that both the data frames must have same variables may not be in the same order right now what if the data frame a has variable that data frame b does not that means what if uh, a has got some rows which b does not so in these situations what you can do there is a solution either you can delete the extra variable from matrix a or you can create additional variable in the matrix b just to match up with this particular condition right that means they must have the same variable right <coughs> now uh, let's try to do this question join the average marks of the students with the data frame a uh, sorry with the students with the student matrix so average marks of the students so see we have already got average score of the students this and we are asked to combine it with the student that means these two needs to be combined together these two needs to be combined together so what we are going to do we will be using an r bind we will be using an r bind let me copy this question let me copy this question here and add a comment now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a, a new variable let's say average underscore uh, score underscore let's say for example class right and i will use an r bind r bind and inside the r bind i will have to just specify both the matrix names so it is student comma uh, average marks of the student with the student matrix average marks of the student is this value which we have already calculated earlier so i will execute this and now if i ex execute this you will see that the average marks for each of the student has been combined with the student matrix so this is my student matrix the highlighted portion is the student matrix which has been combined with the average score student looks good right so that is how we can use your r bind limit the decimal to one digit for the above result now as you can see here that we have got so many decimal points here 30 32.3333 and this value right it is actually affecting the entire matrix so now what we will have to do is we will have to we will have to limit the decimal up to two digits let me copy this question as well now let me paste it here i'm sorry let me paste it here right this was not required i have pasted it in the wrong position wrong place now let me add a comment to it now i will do average average underscore average score of the class and round right now what i have to do can you tell me which function to use i will have to use apply function you remember apply function it is used to apply similar type of functions on all the rows on all the columns right so here i am going to apply uh, and now what I'm going to do I have to specify the uh, matrix name so this is a matrix name and then 
I have to apply it on all the columns. So in order to specify columns, we used to give two and then the function. So I'm going to give round and then we have to give two. That means uh, one digit or two digit or oh, the question is one digit. So I'll give one here. So now if I execute this piece of code and re-execute it, you see it is actually rounded up to a single digit. So that is how we can actually limit. That means if you want to limit the value of a but uh, decimals uh, limit the number of decimals after uh, limit the number of digits after the decimal you can use the round function right now let's go to the next one which is nothing but your c bind the function c bind is used to combine two matrix or the data frames horizontally that means let's say this is the first matrix and this is the second matrix so if i want to combine them i can horizontally that means we are now going to increase the columns in the previous case when we were talking about the r bind we were actually combining vertically that means we were adding rows here we are going to add columns now the same conditions apply both the variables must have the uh, same variables sorry both the data frames or the matrix must have the same variables may not necessarily be the same order so this is a sin this is a syntax very much similar to the R bind just we have to give R bind data frame A data frame B separated by comma that is matrix 1 and matrix 2 so we have a question here to solve let's do this to see if we have actually understood the concept well right so this is a question now it says the question says join the average marks of the students uh, sorry average marks of the subject with the student matrix and limit the decimal to two digits limit it to two digits so let's do it so average underscore average uh, score and what we have to do we have to find the average so See here, we have done limit the decimal to one digit. Before that, we have to give a R bind. We just have to combine for which we have actually calculated the value here. So this is the value which we have actually calculated. So all we have to do is average score for uh, student for all the subjects. That, that is what we are going to do. So I will give C bind. I will have to use the function c bind and then i'll have to specify the first matrix which is student followed by the second so which is average score in all the subjects so now if i execute this you will see that we have got the result so see it is actually combining the value here c bind see 37.00 this 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 we have got this result right now the question says also limit the decimal to two digits so what we will do is i'll just copy the name here so that i will have i can avoid typing round now what will i have to do i will sorry i will have to use an apply function apply function the way we have done here sorry it is a p p l y typo and then i will have to apply the function on this particular matrix because that is the resultant this is a resultant matrix comma two comma round comma two right now if i execute this it should give me the result wow so we have got the result so this is how we can actually use r bind and c bind very easily so i hope this concept is clear so in this session we have studied about how to use apply function it which is mainly used to apply same or similar function on all the rows and columns then we have seen the syntax and we have followed these uh, we have solved these questions then we have talked about r bind which is mainly used to bind or combine the rows that is combining the matrix vertically this is a syntax of it and then we have the column bind which is nothing but combining the matrix uh, column wise that means it is a horizontal combination i hope these concepts are clear to you thank you so much for your time and I hope you have enjoyed learning from this session. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Uh, comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for your time and patience. And you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you guys.